Hello everybody, it's RubySD. I have a special treat for you today. Here we have a package that was sent to us by a fellow uh, tech content creator on Odyssey. His name is at, at Retro Edge Tech. So we're gonna unbox this and see what he sent us. Kind of interesting doing this one-handed. <laughs> Fortunately, I didn't have anybody to be a cameraman for me. All right, let's see here. Wow, this looks nice. Look at that a lever for releasing the case. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, nice. Oh, look at that. It's an, so you can see that there, it's an HP Elite Desk. And he even put in a DVD burner in there. Awesome. This is awesome, man. All right. Look at this bad boy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install OpenBSD on this machine and hopefully we can maybe someday use it to start live streaming or uh, have OBS Studio working because it has a nice uh, graphics card in it or uh, I mean one that can handle better video processing than my laptop. All right, let's install OpenBSD on this machine. All right, and I opened it up and uh, we, he included an S, uh, SSD, Samsung SSD. Awesome, thanks man. Nice ice cooler on a chip. I'm not quite sure what kind of chip it is, but we'll find out. Um, look, check this out. Nice. I don't know if you can see that. It's a uh, Radeon, gra Radio Radeon graphics card. And uh, it came with eight, eight gigabytes of RAM. I threw uh, two of these uh, two gigabyte sticks in there. We'll see if it works. Alrighty, let's try to boot this thing, get this thing running. All right, here we go. I'm excited. Oh, all right, we posted. And yeah, that's what we're looking for. You open me a C bootloader. Nice. All right, and also it looks like the RAM that I installed uh, works so we're at 12 gigabytes of RAM I believe check and reset the date okay so for this install what I want to do is full disk encryption and also I want to install everything to just one big root folder we're not going to do slices so for full disk encryption we're going to drop into a shell we're going to CD into the uh, device folder and then we're going to make we're going to use the uh, remember we did this before the make dev shell script is going to make uh, device nodes so sh make dev sd0, okay? And then um, we could uh, write some random data to sd0, but it's okay. I, I it, it, There's nothing on it. Um, so we're just gonna do fdisk minus iy sd0, okay? Disk label minus E SD0. We're gonna use disk label. So you can see I was already kind of messing with this before. Um, so I think we're good. But what you would normally do is you'd uh, do AA. So Brandon. So what you, what you can do? I learned this from the OpenBSD guy, OpenBSD guys channel. You can type Z to delete all partitions. And then type PG will give you uh, the available partitions and gigabytes. And then what you can do is AA, 64 bytes is our offset. And then we're gonna do star to do, or I'm sorry, asterisk to do the, the what's ever left of the space on the device, the rest of the space. File system type's gonna be RAID, right? and quit. 
and then we do bio control minus C, C minus L, SD zero A, soft braid zero. And then we do our super secret passphrase. Perfect. So as you can see right here, SD2 is gonna be our new virtual disk for software zero. And also you can set up a, a USB to be the actual key. I've done this before for OpenBSD to unlock the computer. I just, I'm not particularly a fan of it because if you lose that USB key, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> so just don't, there was, there was a close call where I, I couldn't find that thing for a couple days and it, it sucked. So I think this way is better. It's just good to just have a password up in your noggin that's nice and strong. All right, and then uh, and then so SD two is what we're gonna install OpenBSD two. All right. Hopefully, uh, there we go. All right. So install I. Okay. Keyboard layout default. System host name. Local host. Which network? Uh, so we're just doing Ethernet on this. I don't think this device has has a, a Wi-Fi. I can put a dongle on it, but yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really use, I, uh, let's see, IPv4 address, how to come, okay. I don't really use internet protocol version six, but I'll have it configured just in case. Okay. You know, I didn't even test to see if this network's working. I probably should have, but we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> now, it says it's using DNS name server, so. Super secret password. Uh, sure, why not? Yes. No, we don't. We don't need to change the default console. So that'd be user. All right, our user's name is going to be. Hmm. How about Shadowrunner? I like that because I like the Shadowrun series. And your full name for Shadowrunner. His full name is. Hmm. What's a cool name? How about Bugs Bunny? There we go. What's up, Doc? Password. Okay, super secret password. All right. No, do not allow root SSH login. What time zone am I in? Boise. All right. So we want SD2. Remember, we want SD2. That's our virtual disk we created with BioControl. No valid MBR or GPT. So we're gonna use hold, uh, we're gonna use GPT. Hmm. Actually, I wanna use MBR, because when I did the FDisk, uh, it gave you the option to do FDisk for GPT or MBR. So I'm gonna do MBR. All right, so we're gonna create a uh, custom layout. Okay, C, capital C. So remember, PG. All right, so, push mark. So it's a N, partition to name. I believe it's A. Partition A is not in use. PG. I've done this before. Okay, so I just auto partitioned everything and our root is the A partition. So we're just gonna, um, I guess we're just gonna remove them all. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. R, D, R, E, R, F. I'm probably doing this totally wrong, I'm sorry guys. I don't know why it was saying that. R, H, R, J, RK. So PG. There we go. Hmm?
Ah, okay. So I want to add a partition. Okay, sorry guys. I don't know why I was thinking N. Eh. Okay, set mount. Oh yeah, we don't want to set a mount point. We want partition A, offset 64, size is all. File system type, 4.2 BSD, mount point. Here we go, mount point. You just want to do a forward slash, okay? PG. All right, so we only have one root partition, no slices. I'm pretty sure I did this right, okay? Sorry I had a little bit of a brain fart there for a second. So, right, and quit. All right. Which disk do I need? Done, we're done, okay? All right, so we're gonna do HTTPS. So you press question mark, it'll list the name of servers. So we have a local server here. Let's, just, let's try that one first. Try the Sonic Dynamic here. Then we'll get. Am I even pinging? By pinging anything? Okay, so I got an internet connection. I'm getting a little frustrated, but it's okay. It's okay. See, I have to go through this install process, so why am I not getting a list of sets? Why are you not connecting properly? All right, I'm back. I figured out what was going on. Uh, this has to be probably one of the most <laughs> pain in the neck OpenBSD installs I've ever done. Uh, so since we're doing a current development snapshot, um, because it's in the 7.0 uh, testing branch, um, the installer is looking for 7.0 to install, which isn't in any of the mirrors. So technically what you should do in this situation is install uh, a release and then upgrade the release to snapshot. And I didn't do that. So I'll have to do uh, my, my, <laughs> my hacky, uh, you know, offline install method here to get this going. And then once we install, I'll just run sys upgrade to the newest snapshot. So we'll have to do some of this stuff over again. I'm super sorry. I'll try to go as quick as possible. To be a OpenBSD speed, OpenBSD install speed run. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> they got me. It's late. They they got me today. Um, no, really. What is the name? That, yeah, because I've already done this before, like six times. The, the name of the user is Shadow Runner, and the full name is Bugs Bunny. What's up, Doc? Super secret password. Uh, no, we don't want that. Yes. I want SD2. Oh, okay, let's do this. OpenBSD, custom layout, delete all partitions, add a partition called A, star, 4.2 BSD, forward slash for the mount point. Perfect. Okay. And then write and quit. Okay. Done. Let's install the sets. Sets are on disk. No, the partition is not mounted. Which disk contains the install media? SD3. Sets. Yes. Perfect, finally. <laughs> uh, so, boys and girls, if you're gonna install current during right before a release, just install the release, so I install 6.9, and 
and then then do sys upgrade minus s to install the snapshot don't be like me having to do this hacky stuff and hack because i have a backup of offline sets <laughs> to go <laughs> done yes oh okay you know what Perfect. Ah, we are installing. Huzzah! We have succeeded. And this was interesting. Um, Alright. Time appears wrong. Set it to the correct time. Yes, it is. In the middle of the night, I know. All right, so we're relinking re our kernel with a new random kernel every time that we boot or do an upgrade. Perfect, all right, well, let's reboot and see if, if I messed up. That was me taking out the USBs, in case you're wondering what that weird noise was. Passphrase, okay, here we go. Passphrase for my, my super secret passphrase for my encrypt, full disk encryption. This is kind of going a little slow. What's going on? There we go. All right, we made it. All right, OpenBSD is installed to this computer at RetroEdge Tech. Thank you so much. And let's see if we can get into X. It's probably a lot of work to be done to figuring out, uh, you know, yeah, the Radeon card that's on here and. Uh, you know what I can do with it. I know I know I realize that I don't have a display port cable which I would need to install into one of my nicer monitors. So I'll use this little potato monitor for now. It's hooked up via it's not DVI, it's this weird kind of connection I've never seen before, but I I just so happen to have a random cord for it because I like to collect random cords just on the off chance that I ever need them. So we didn't start into X, I noticed. I wonder what I did wrong. We are installed. Okay. Well, you know, we are installed. Uh, this is an earlier kernel, so I'll do. Uh, I'm going to do a sys upgrade. Sorry, sys upgrade minus s, and then um, after that, we're going to try to figure out uh, why x isn't loading. Did I did I say no to start Xenodm? I might have. We can get that turned back on. And then uh, we'll get into uh, the, the default OpenBSD window manager, which is called FV Window Manager. And we'll do some uh, we'll do some post-install stuff here in the next video. All right, that's all. Thank you for watching. Bye. Oh, real quick. Let's see uh, how many cores we got here. Oh, nice, we got four cores. And... Uh, I got 10 gigabytes of memory available. Nice. Okay, all right, anyways. Let's have a great night, guys. <laughs> Bye.